This person is saying, I'm worried that I'm a narcissist and I'm terrified of therapy and I don't know what to do. And of course, if you knew her, I've been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder and I've been in psychotherapy for the last five years. So I can agree with you, y'all. Like nobody wants to be a narcissist. Like nobody wants that. Like if, I, if you could be born and you choose your path, you wouldn't choose the path. You wouldn't pick narcissistic personality disorder off of the assembly line. You wouldn't pick toxic traits and toxic behaviors or any kind of mental illness off of the assembly line. Like, mm, God, give me that right there. God be like, are you sure? That's narcissism. I want that right there. Give it to me, God. And yes, therapy is scary as hell, y'all. I think everybody thinks therapy is just sitting in the chair talking about your past and things like that. Therapy requires a different level of vulnerability and it's just, whew, it brings a lot of shame to you as well because going to therapy, admitting that you have a problem or that you've been the problem in a lot of situations in your life is tough as hell, y'all. So I applaud anybody that goes to therapy and deals with their issues and deals with their trauma because I tell, like me, myself, I go to therapy to, to, to work out my trauma in the therapist chair as opposed to working it out on my family and friends and my kids. In layman's terms, I describe therapy as finding a helpful stranger to vent to, to tell all your deepest and darkest secrets too. Therapy is about trust, y'all. You have to find a therapist that you trust with your deepest, darkest secrets. A you have to find a therapist that you trust that has your best interest in heart. At heart, for me, I just happened to find. I, I went on PsychologyToday.com, uh, typed in narcissistic personality disorder, and I found my therapist. And I've been with the same therapist for the last five years. I was blessed, y'all. Not not everybody has that same experience where you go, you get one therapist, and then you're done. You have to find a therapist that fits you, that understands you. And yes, 1000% therapy can be scary, but it's needed, y'all. If you feel like you need therapy, go get therapy. Narcissist or not, toxic person or not, whatever you have going on, if you don't, if you feel like you're not okay, if you feel like you're sad all the time and you should be happy, go take, look, go gallop, sit down in the therapist chair and talk about it, y'all. Talk about it to somebody who understands what you're going through because, and who won't judge you. Because I go to therapy, I used to be scared that I was going to be judged, but my therapist doesn't judge me. It's so like, if I judge you, I can't help you. You know what I mean? I, if I judge you, I cannot help you. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just vent, get it off my chest, talk, go, and leave therapy with tools to help me live a better life and help help my family and friends live a better life and a better existence. So if you're dealing with a personality disorder or you feel like you might think different or you might be different, I, I felt the same exact way. I felt that way since I was seven years old. So for 30 years, I'm 37 now, for 30 years, I felt that way. But therapy, when I went to therapy at 32 years old, it's the first time I felt whole and heard and listened to. Being a narcissist or a toxic person does not make you a subhuman. It does not, does not automatically make you a horrible person. It's the behaviors and the, the traits that you exhibit and you take out on other people that make you that way. So again, get on psychologytoday.com, find you a good therapist, get in there, talk it out. Hope this helps.